Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be picking up exactly where we left off during the last video. We took down all of the Christmas decorations together and what I did was put all of them onto our dining room table. The purpose of this is so that we could actually go through all of them as we're putting them away this year to make sure that everything that we put away and we store in the garage this year is going to be something that we're going to use next year so that we're not taking up valuable real estate. You only have so much square foot in your home and so I don't want to take that up with items that we're not going to use next year that we don't really love or that's broken. So what I've done is something that I learned from the Minimal Mom and I think it's a great idea to be able to help you through the whole entire process. I've got a bin that's labeled Christmas. I actually have two bins. There's one behind me as well that's labeled Christmas. I also have a box. This box is going to be for donations. And then we also have a trash bag. So anything that's broken, we're going to throw into the trash bag. And this is just going to help us not have to leave the space that we're working on to be able to take it to different locations in the house. We'll be able to fill the box. It's a cardboard box. It's one that I don't mind to get rid of as we um, take the items to the donation center. So what I'm actually going to do is just put this donation box underneath the table so that as we're going through items, I can load this box as well. I'm going to be going to town anyway today, so hopefully we can get this little project done, get the items that we're going to donate, into this box and as I go to town we'll kill two burns with one stone and be able to take this to the donation center so that hopefully someone else can use them next year and really enjoy them. So throughout the video I'll just kind of walk you through my thought process and kind of things that I'm going to keep and things that I'm going to donate or throw in the trash um, and we'll speed up do time lapse on times when I'm just kind of going through things. there's a few things that I cannot store in the garage because I can't really endure the heat that we experience here where I live and so I'm gonna go ahead and set those things to the side back here so again I don't have to leave where I'm at and I can stay focused on what I'm doing but I know that these things will have to be stored in the house I have a small closet um, in the back bedroom and a top shelf that I use in that closet specifically for these items I store them all there so I know exactly where they're at every single year so we're gonna go ahead and set those to the side All of the items that can't take the excess heat are now all located together. They'll all be located at the top of the closet in the back bedroom. So I know exactly where they're at. Everything that goes with each item is all gonna be together. So I don't have to worry about digging through bins next year when I go to set everything out. The rest of these items, I would really like to try to get them to fit into these two bins. I do have a small plastic bin that's located at the back of the table that I do put my Christmas ornaments in just so all Christmas ornaments are together. Um, I went through all of the ornaments that were on the tree in the main living room the day that I took the tree down. All of those ornaments are like memory type ornaments throughout the course of the years that my husband and I have been together and from my childhood. So I know that I want to keep those ornaments. There are some picks that go into the tree to just kind of have accents that I put in the top of that box as well. But since we do have some other ornaments that I want to go through today to determine what we're going to keep and donate, I may move those to another box so that we have the additional room just to ensure that all ornaments are in one box together. Now, this I actually got this year for Christmas for my mom. It smells amazing. It is like a lavender scent. It's not really like a Christmassy scent per se. Um, and so I am going to go ahead and leave this out. We got sick right after Christmas. I haven't actually been able to enjoy this candle yet, but if I put it in the attic, it's going to melt. And I really don't want it to lose the fragrance of the candle by storing it for a whole year. So we are going to go ahead and leave this out and enjoy it now. So I'm going to set this to the side. This is one of the items that I really don't care to keep anymore. Um, I used it as a little bit of a centerpiece on the table a couple years back and they do light up and it looks really pretty with the decor that I used at that time but really just not loving them anymore. They were fairly cheap. I got them at the Dollar General so 
we're gonna go ahead and donate these and give these a new home. They still do work and we will let someone else enjoy these next year. And don't you just love a good struggle with Christmas lights at the end of every Christmas season? These are micro lights. I really like them. I got them on Amazon. They're battery operated. Um, the easiest way to get them off the tree is usually to wind them around the box that you're seeing. For some reason, I never think to take the batteries out before I do that. So I always wind them up and then end up having to go back, unwind them to take the batteries out and then rewind them. So enjoy the struggle <laughs> that you're watching now. One of the reasons I love these so much is they're colored lights. My husband loves colored lights and I prefer a white tree. So we're able to have both. Okay, so we're gonna go through a couple of the Christmas ornaments. Some of the ones, again, are from memory, so we're definitely gonna be keeping those. Um, some of these are from like the Dollar Tree. I bought these and I really liked them when I first got them. This style, I'm not actually too fond of, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. We'll donate these and we'll keep the other ones that I like. I didn't end up using this one this year, so again, I'm just gonna donate it. I have never even opened this. I've had this for a while. I could keep it because I've paid for it um, and I don't want to, you know, have thought that I've wasted that money. However, just holding on to it and never using it is not going to give me back my money. So we're going to go ahead and donate this too. This is another ornament from the Dollar Tree we're going to donate this year. Another item that we can donate. This ornament's broken, so we're going to go ahead and throw it away. This one is also so broken, so we're going to throw it away. Here's another one that we're going to go ahead and throw away. It started to tarnish. Um, I really don't know how to fix it. Yeah, I guess you could technically donate it, but again, it's not really in the best condition. So I'd hate to donate something to somebody that they couldn't really just pick up and use. So we're going to go ahead and throw this away. That's another one that I didn't really use this year. So we're going to donate this one as well. So I think I have all the ornaments down to exactly what we're going to keep. There's some Christmas lights that I kept out, but these lights are currently going out. Um, if you noticed in the previous video, the top of the tree was actually already dark. The lights were no longer working. They're kind of spotty in some places. I held on to them for this video so that y'all could see. I could technically keep those and try to work with them and there's different strands of lights, patch them together next year. But to save myself the headache and having to store these all year long with not even knowing that after the heat and then it getting cold again that they're even gonna work again next year, I'm gonna go ahead and throw those away. We bought them on sale, they were super cheap, and so we'll just buy some more to replace them, or possibly another tree, and just know that the lights that we have are gonna work through the course of next Christmas. This past Christmas, I actually had to put three additional strands of lights on the tree, and they just continued to go out throughout the course of Christmas, just because we have kept these for so long, and we have tried to be as frugal as possible and use them to the last bit that we could to get all of our money out of it but i think they're just to the point that might as well just throw them away and start new next year so this is actually the bin that i store all of the memory christmas ornament items and the picks that go on the tree so every single item in this box goes on the main tree that's in our living room and since these are the picks that go inside that tree, I think what I'm going to do instead of putting all ornaments together is I'm going to actually just keep this in this box. So I know this entire box is designated to the living room Christmas tree. We do typically put up two Christmas trees. The other one is a very small Christmas tree, the one that was in the dining room. And all of these ornaments that are more country looking, kind of vintage, all of these ornaments go onto the small Christmas tree. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this pick with the other items that go in the living room for that Christmas tree. So all of these items are together. It is a tight, snug fit.
Now that we've got all this put up, I know that this box is designated for the main Christmas tree in the living room. So that'll be easy to locate next year. I'll have everything together. I will not have to be searching through different bins to try to figure out exactly where all the items are to finish that tree. So we'll put this to the side. These Christmas ornaments are the ornaments that I use on the smaller Christmas tree in the dining room. These items that we've put in this box so far are also the items that I kind of place around the dining room. So we're going to put all of these together so that we know exactly where they're located at. can easily decorate that tree as well while we set out the additional items that I put on the buffet. I find it very interesting to see some of the things that actually hold us up from decluttering for what's going to be beneficial for our future selves. I stood here forever with this penguin. <laughs> I've had it for a really long time. I thought it was really, really cute when I first got it, and I've loved it for many years. But now it just really doesn't go with our home decor, and I've just kept it because I've had it for so long, and it seems like I should keep it. It's not anything that's sentimental. It's not anything that was handed down from family members. It's just something that I purchased and I just have a hard time deciding whether to keep or not. So you'll see me kind of go struggle through <laughs> that situation for a little bit. I do end up putting it in the box here, but later on I do pull it out and I do go ahead and donate it. to go to that one certain spot in the garage. I'm not sure if this will fit, but we're gonna try. I think it will. Awesome, it did. So excited. So this box is just trash. So we'll throw this away with the trash bag that we have ready. We'll keep this tissue paper for birthday presents. I totally missed the small tree, but it does end up fitting into that second bin as well. Okay, friends, I think that takes care of everything today. We were able to successfully get rid of some trash that we no longer needed and was not going to be beneficial for next year. We pared down a few items that we no longer are going to want to use next year as well. And we were able to successfully keep all things that are going to be in the garage down to three bins. We also have the items that can't take the heat and will be going into the back bedroom closet, that the space that's designated specifically for it. And so we'll know next year that we're organized, we're ready to go, everything's labeled or easy to find in the home in their designated spots and it'll make next year so much more enjoyable and I won't be having to go through things that I just don't love and do not really want to use anymore. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's decluttering and organizing video. 
Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how many bins do you have in your garage or designated space for your Christmas items? Do you also organize everything and label them so it's easy to find? And subscribe if you like today's video. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.